What is going on, Google Camp? My name is Mr. J93. Welcome to Nerf Elite 2.0 video. Where today we're going to be taking a look at a new, a new line of the Volt from the 2.0 a game release line. I'm going to keep saying this over and over again in this video, but again, this is not exactly a new blaster. It's kind of a reuse of the Nerf Elite uh, Fire Strike. Now, if you do actually have the Fire Strike, this is effectively just the same blaster. Except for there's some differences, which is what I'll go into a little bit, and I'll also tell you which, uh, which in my opinion you should buy. The truth, it's kind of a bit of a toss up. Just, just which one you choose. But yeah, put in the fire shock aside, and so then the main. So this is, how, this is what the blaster actually looks like when you get it out of the package. Actually, uh, you can actually touch feel the blaster in it. Comes in the same exact packaging as the Fire Strike. Now, the Fire Strike was kind of one of the first Nerf Elite Blasters because of its simplicity, and I, I, I believe, at least that's what I'm seeing online. Again, simple on hand, you just pull this back, the handle back, and just fire. Again, it's a lot quieter when you drive fire, and drive fire meaning like no, no dart. But the whole gimmick between the Fire Strike and the Volt is the, the light. Now, I was at now, I was actually confused about the actual light and sword. It's actually not a button anymore, whereas the, the button's actually right here in the trigger guard. And it and it's actually, it come where, where originally in the fire strike, it's actually like where the rev trigger is, it's actually outside the trigger guard. So you're actually coming up with different lights. You can actually, but where's this one? This is on, I'm actually, I'm not pressing the button. It's a, it's a switch. So you switch it on and off. So it's kind of like a, uh, you know, tactical, you know, military, you know, you just flip the light, Johnny, you know, clear the room. But the difference is it, it takes, it takes triple A, it takes uh, two triple A batteries, at least that's what, according to this, I just read it, but you can kind of see just all this family, if you get your own, it'll say, it'll, it takes two triple A batteries, exact same thing as a fire strike, except for the battery placement on the fire strike is actually in the actual, you know, grip itself, you know, we put your hand, whereas the fire, whereas the volt, it's actually right here, like directly underneath the light, which kind of, you know, I guess to say that you don't know the wiring because you can just save money on, you know, shortening wire. But right down here, where the battery used to be, is you just put darts in, and yeah. Before I actually continue, I have to say that uh, if you watched my previous video on the Phoenix, uh, I'll put a link down in the description below, and I might actually put like a title card somewhere on screen about it. I did actually, you know, mess up my like dart, show, showing you the darts, because I actually did use the darts from actually this package, which actually did, come, which actually does come with the Fire Strike. It, the Fire Strike, well, not, again, not the Fire Strike, the Volt, I'm going to get confused, because this is effectively just the same blaster as the Fire Strike, it's just 2 one which by some kind of corners. Now, just take a look at some overview, uh, obviously these darts are effectively just the same as normal Nerf Elite darts, they're just a kind of just giving a new paint paint job but uh just taking a look you do see as of it beats like painted in it's actually like cut into blasters elite 2.0 well it's backwards on my screen or on my camera nerf elite 2.0 nice barrel use is a front loading one you can't actually you know slam fire dart holder down here uh, you have tactical rails here one down here i don't know you could probably put a you could probably put a flashlight down here if you if you really want to, but man, you don't really need a flashlight if you have if you have a laser. If you have a laser operator, right? Laser like that, which is just the main gimmick of both the Fire Strike and the Volt. Because I'm gonna keep getting just confused and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, now I come out actually a trigger grip. Now the trigger, uh, it's a bit crowded with the 2.0. You now with the Phoenix, you did actually see that. Uh, the mag, mag magazine release is actually in the trigger guard, which is actually not how normal firearms actually do have it. Normal firearms would actually have, you know, this would be a pistol. Normal firearms would actually have like a mag magazine release either, well, if, if you had a magazine here, you'd have one here, but since it's a pistol, you'd, you'd most likely have one somewhere up top or, yeah, somewhere would actually, you know, release. Like it's, it won't actually be in the trigger guard. I don't really know much about pistols, but I know, you know, rifles, you would have, maybe, but again, this is not a rifle one. But uh, yeah, there is like a turbine, which again, the, from 2.0 line, which does also have the magazine release in the trigger guard. Again, it's crowded. In my opinion, is 
not a good idea. And again, yeah, trigger the trigger pull is is, is normal. It's, it's just a normal again. The fire is firing the dry the dry firing meaning not no dart. It's quieter than than the fire strike. Now just just for a side example, that this was a volt. Here here's the fire strike. See how loud that see how loud that was. Now now, now the fire. The reason why it's like the fire velocity is kind of up a little. I don't actually have like a. I can't exactly chrono it because I don't have a uh, cr chronometer or whatever ballistics tracker with me. I noticed the fire is is slightly higher rate. It makes a kind of a louder impact whenever I'm doing some tests. And uh, yeah, if, if you do uh, know what these tech rules, you can actually put attachments on. It does fit with standard Nerf. Uh, nerf attachment. So if you do actually have the scope from the Phoenix, you can just put it on. It actually looks like a uh, one of those like a tactical or spy movie or spy movie uh, pistol. I don't know why, but this scope is a little oversized. But yeah, if you don't want to look tactical, you could. I mean, this scope does nothing. I, I showed you in my fans review again. A title card will be on. on on the screen somewhere or it's one part of the video but uh yeah uh and other way else can play i mean the balance is still exactly the same as the fire strike except for the battery is kind of at the front so again triple a batteries it doesn't weigh that much if you get four if you get double a four double a batteries eventually like the feeding so it weighs down so not much going i mean it's a small blaster but again dart storage is at the bottom but if you leave it in, but if you leave it in too long, it's gonna like whoop darts. But originally it was actually up front, like I showed the fire strike. It's actually right close to the barrel, so you just quickly move it. But actually doing a demonstration, uh, I, I'm gonna take out, I'm actually gonna use these two darts that come in a package. Now, actually like loading in, there is like a little ridge in here. You can't, just can't exactly see it, but you kind of, if you put it in incorrectly, it's actually not going to go in. But yeah, you can actually have two darts on here, which is which keeps uh, people from actually checking to see how many darts you have left. Whereas this, obviously, I have a rail, a uh, attachment that actually came with the fire, with the battle camel fire strike. But if you have it here, you can actually see that you have extra darts here. Which, again, for tactical reasons, it's it's your choice or not. You prefer. This, I mean, it's very similar. It's, it's not like one is over an improvement, but a little extra later. But yeah, again, loading here, you're gonna have to reach down here to like pull out a dart from the bottom and put it here. Whereas the fire, whereas the fire strike, uh, it's it's just it's low right here. Just quickly do that. So it's not like you have to go down here. So the time you have to take a little if you're taking a fire and you pull this out, it's it, it's gonna it's gonna cause you know to drop some darts and all that stuff. I mean this is maybe just an emergency like if you're if you're just right now you just drop your uh, your retaliator or, or whatever main primary uh, rifle will be rifle be and you just quickly pull it out. It's not really good for reload. You only reload if you're safe and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, and another complaint now uh, compared to the two battery doors, uh, this. There, there is actually a screwdriver in here. This also takes AAA again, like I said. But this, there is actually no screwdriver. I thought I actually got a, uh, a lemon or something for a mistake from the actual Nerf. But it turns out this is common. There's actually no screwdriver or no screw. Uh, you need to actually push like a pen or a little pin in. If you have like a little pin head, like if you do have this, you just push it and then slide this door forward. Uh, be careful what you use. If you use something that's too wide, you may actually split the blast open. Now, another thing uh, why I might pick this fire strike up, oh, fire strike over this, primarily, is how it's actually held together. As you saw, as I was showing you around, there are no screws in the fire strike. Whereas this, you have screws on this side. You can kind of see, yeah, there, these are screw holes. There are no screws here, so. It's held by, you know, uh, factory adhesive. So, yeah. Once you open this, you can't actually glue it back in because, well, unless you open it carefully, like bottom, I actually, 
fixed it by, you know, putting some, you know, Elmer's glue down there and actually held it there for like five minutes or something. I, I put like a book on top of it and it works, but if you want to split this whole time flash open, you it's going to cause too much trouble for it. So that's the issue of, you know, if you want to decide to mod, mod it, modify it, if you want to improve it. Well, in my opinion, if it's literally the exact same forms similarly to this, but this one fires a little bit harder than that. Oh, I'm actually doing a little firing demonstration, taking out the dart itself. Typically, I like to prime it before actually putting it in the dart. Again, it's not recommended firearm world. Typically, load it and then you you have a prime because you don't want to misfire as you're putting it in. But uh, yeah, I noticed the firing sound is a lot louder like when you have a dart in. But this, with the fire strike, it's just loud. So uh, yeah, if, if you're in terms of, well, fire strike is just loud whenever you actually have something in. But if you empty and you just do this, yeah, it just shows that you're empty. But it's a fire strike. Everybody knows that you're empty. But uh, yeah. The first press, if you want to color coordinate with your, uh, you know, combat or whatever, your nerf battle gear, and all that stuff, it's up to you. Uh, but again, my opinion is kind of much more positive than a Phoenix. Uh, I would highly recommend you actually pick this one up. If you're if you're just using just you know certain play like you wanna like shoot shoot like a little plastic cup or something but in a in a Nerf war which you probably don't have much now because of you know all the pandemic as of this recording uh, I would actually not go for this because I mean all the time it takes to reload all that if you're in Nerf war I would rec highly recommend you pick up the Fire Strike I believe you can find some of these at Walmart.com find them online the Fire Strike. Uh, technically is a is better for you know nerf wars but if you're just getting it just for you know plain cane fun shooting around your house you want to shoot like a if, if you want to knock something over in your in your room or something feel free but I, again I'm not liable I'm just suggesting you what you can do if you don't want to use it for modding and all that stuff again that's the issue with many YouTube many other reviewers have complained about mod, modding but yeah, again, that's my opinion. Again, it's more positive than the Phoenix. But uh, yeah, again, it's your choice. Uh, pick, pick either one if, if you're if you're just like me who doesn't really do have many friends. Pick pick either one of those up. I recommend you pick up both. But both are equally just as fun. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for my review. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, th thank you very much for watching. And fly hard, pilot.